Sweet Symphony in its most simplest form is just a, a prayer, a prayer for forgiveness, a prayer of surrender. It's a desire for my whole life and not just the songs that I sing to be an offering to God and a symphony to God. I guess the prayer is um, for my life to echo and elevate something that's far greater than me, much like a melody elevates the lyric. I want my heart's melody to echo eternity and point towards the kingdom of heaven. I had the chorus actually for a long time, probably since I was 18 or something, and it was one of those uh, songs and choruses where it was just, yeah, as I say, a prayer for me, but I just kept coming back to it and when I was like worshipping on my own and in a sense of like when I'd messed up again, the same thing that tears me away from God, I'd just come back to this song and I based the, the verses on Psalm 51 where David's messed up big time, but he comes back to Jesus and just asking him to search through his heart and clean out what pulls him away from him. The first verse starts with, here I am once again, whispered to me and there's this realisation that it isn't the first time, uh, but the whisper is the intimacy of a father who's welcoming me back and the uh, closeness of a father to a son. The second verse goes on to say about him being my one desire and taking all that I can give him, a broken heart, and making that an offering to God. The whole EP has been journeying towards this point of surrender in the chorus and as one voice we say, all that I am is yours. And it's been amazing to sort of sing this song and see this song uh, go from a personal prayer to a collective voice of worship. I hope this song leads you closer towards Jesus.